it is a brisk morning and we have a problem. This is the panel that goes into my EB70. So my panel basically spent the whole night over here because I get my last bit of sun here. And in the morning I came out and I moved it over here. And as soon as I put it up here, when the sun started hitting it, I felt, I heard my EB70 kind of start riling up. And then all of a sudden it just stopped charging. I just checked my cables. So I unplugged and replugged my cables in and the cable that's on the back of the panel, nothing. I plugged in my Jackery, which is an eight millimeter port like the EB70, nothing. <laughs> so I don't know what the heck is going on. I just put my amp meter on this cable. Okay, so I was actually on the wrong amp setting. I was on AC instead of DC. So let's try this again. Now this is showing 1.2, so I need to zero it. Zero it out, let's try this over here again. All right, nothing, right? And if I come over to the sun power, you can see that's pulling five amps. So I'm telling y'all, I hope that it's an issue with the actual solar cable, the MC4 adapter. And I hope that it's not an issue with the panel. I don't even care if it's an issue with these cables. I, I could easily replace that. That panel is going to be a problem. So let's let's continue to investigate. So I'm going to check my little solar bin here that my wife has put stuff on top of some jars. <laughs> I feel like I should have another MC4 to eight millimeter, right? Because I had two of those and they let me keep the cable. So one of those cables is being used. I don't think I'm using the cable anywhere else. I see something in here, but I think this is a MC4 to XT60. All right, that's what that is. Shoot. Out of my garage, I have this on a four-way. It's only getting in 17 watts. I'm gonna have to jack this one for testing. That one has XT60, Anderson, eight millimeter and 5521. And then I have the eight millimeter adapted to 5525 because that's what this one takes in. I just figured it out. <laughs> Mystery busted. This is that dip right here. Okay, I got this one. Let's get back to testing. Now with this one, I can literally test anything because it has so many connections on it. So I'm gonna just grab the Go Labs and see what that does. Nothing. Oh, no, no, no. There we go, that's what I like to see. Will it settle? Cause this is a high voltage, yeah. Okay, that's a good sign, guys. That's a good sign. <laughs> now let's test the EB70. All right, the moment of truth. Hey, looking in the mirror like dead is there. Yeah, yeah, dead is there, man. So now, just to finish this off, I'm gonna plug this cable right here back in and see if maybe it just needed to be reseated on the MC4 side. I've been missing out on solar all day, man. I may have to try it on something else. Jeez, playing mess on my paper. All right, this has been reseated or unplugged and plugged back in. <laughs> and then we're gonna see what happens here. Fingers crossed. Uh-oh, that's promising. Nice. So that was it. It just needed to be unplugged and plugged back in. And I know that has to be the case because I tried plugging this into the Jackery. So it wasn't just that the EB70 needed to be reset in some way. Why does the screen turn all so fast, right? There was something going on in this cable. I thought we were home free guys, but it's not working again. <laughs> oh man. Nothing. Just to show you that there's no doubt that this should be hot beam my one out here. So back to the drawing board. I'm gonna have to reach out to Blue Eddie. I don't think this thing is still under warranty, but I wanna see if they're gonna give me a cable. Now I have multiple cables, but just not eight millimeter, but I can possibly adapt 5521 to eight millimeter just to get the job done. So the, the panel's gonna be back in, I hope, cause I didn't let that other wire run long enough. So I'm gonna do that real quick just to make sure that it's actually working completely. And actually, I already put it down in the, <laughs> the garage. So I'm gonna have to go back down there and do it all over again. 
celebrated too quick. All right, so because the last cable worked for a little bit, then stopped working almost minutes later, I plugged this in. It's been a good 15 minutes and it's still going strong. So I definitely think it's the cable or it's a combination of the cable and the device. So I have a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try the cable on a different power station to see if that would work a little bit better and maybe I need to just swap cables around. I doubt that that's the case. I think the cable is just, it's not working anymore or something weird is going on there. Let's tie things up with a nice little bow. This is the original cable that was upstairs on the EB70. It is adapted to 5525, right? Plug it into the big blue. And Nathaniel. So it's definitely this cable. All right, y'all, now the video is over. It is I, uh, holla.